fibromyalgia, and rheumatoid arthritis. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, I am Dee. I am a nurse who has worked in rheumatology as well as a rheumatoid arthritis patient myself. And I make weekly videos about rheumatic and autoimmune health and wellness. So if that sounds like something that is interesting to you, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So today I wanted to go over the differences between fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis. I also wanted to go over the similarities. So we'll start there. Both fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis can be treated by a rheumatologist and both of them cause symptoms that are similar, such as joint pain, arthritis, muscle soreness, muscle weakness, and both conditions affect the entire body. So it's not just a musculoskeletal thing with the muscles and the joints and the ligaments. And another thing that is similar with both of them is that they are chronic conditions that tend to be primarily invisible and that they both have a gradual onset with vague symptoms that could look like so many other different things, which makes it very difficult to pick up on and diagnose the problem. Difficulty concentrating, brain fog, fatigue, pain, not being able to tolerate exercise well. They share a lot of symptoms and you can have both at the same time like me. But that's another story for another video. And then my last thing that I wanted to say that was similar to both of them is that both illnesses are very debilitating and can be disabling. With both conditions, you are fighting to function. And unfortunately, it's not always well understood by people on the outside looking in who don't have to deal with it. And it is a frustrating process. And both conditions are unpredictable. So they both can have flares, but you don't know when they're gonna happen. You don't know how bad it's gonna be. You could have one day where you're feeling pretty darn good like all right i can get through this day and then another day where you're just like oh dear lordy that unpredictability makes it hard to plan things so let's go over the differences between fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis so fibromyalgia is not autoimmune it's not caused by the immune system that said it is fairly common for someone to have fibromyalgia and another autoimmune condition. Regardless of which one pops up first, fibromyalgia, it is what's called a dysautonomia. And what that means is there is a part of your brain called the autonomic system that controls all the stuff that you do automatically without having to think. So your heart beating, you know, when you're breathing automatically and you're not putting any conscious effort into it. You know, your blood pressure, your heart rate, your temperature, all that stuff is controlled by the autonomic part of your brain. And a dysautonomy is when something goes wrong with that part of the brain. And that's why it ends up doing the whole system a number if you have fibromyalgia. That's why some people with fibromyalgia actually do have chest pain on a consistent basis. Or their heart beats really fast. Or they feel palpitations all the time. Or they feel like they're going to pass out. On top of the fatigue. It's some sort of issue going on neurologically in the brain. Not psychologically. Although it does have psychological impact. It's a neurological issue with the brain. And it just, it does a number and impacts everything like a domino effect. Rheumatoid arthritis, on the other hand, is not a dysautonomia. The rheumatoid arthritis is a confused mutant system attacking your joints and it can attack other tissues as well. That's a major difference between the two. And because of those major differences, that is why their treatments tend to be different. If you have RA or any sort of inflammatory arthritis, most of the time, if you take some sort of anti-inflammatory, especially a prednisone taper, it really helps relieve symptoms. And I'm not saying go be on prednisone all the time. I'm saying this as this can be a clue to help rule out between the two if you're not sure which one you have. Fibromyalgia prednisone will not do anything because it's not a immune system inflammatory condition like RA is. That is why a lot of the pain things that they've started to use now to treat fibromyalgia are focusing more on calming the brain down because the brain is in overdrive, it's oversensitive and it's amplifying a lot of stuff. So that's why you're starting to see more providers prescribing antidepressants 
and anti-anxiety medications because it calms down that overworked brain and that in turn helps relieve some of the symptoms. Having a chronic illness takes its toll on the brain on top of the body, which adds more toll on the body and then more toll on the brain. And then the cycle just keeps on going. So the treatments for both are different, which is why certain things you see to treat pain for RA are not the same thing that you would necessarily see to treat fibromyalgia pain. One of the other big differences between the two with the arthritis aspect, fibromyalgia can cause arthritis, but it is not going to deform your fingers or erode away the bone. Fibromyalgia arthritis does not do that. Rheumatoid arthritis, if untreated or uncontrolled, can start to break down the bone and you'll start to see bone erosions and it can deform your joints if it destroys the entire joint. So that is another big difference between the two. But early on, you're not gonna see that. So that's one of the reasons why they both look very similar. And that about wraps up this video. So, I hope you found this helpful to help you differentiate between fibromyalgia and RA. I would love to hear your stories, share your experiences. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.